What's up, YouTube? It's AJ Watt back to you guys with a very exciting figure review. I've been waiting for this damn thing for over about four or five months already. It's been delayed many, many times. The Batman v Superman Hot Toys Batman 1 6 scale sideshow exclusive collectible figure. That was a lot to say for me. I. I'm very excited to open up this thing. I just got in the mail right now, and I just cleared my my room for the review station just to, like, do this review because I've been waiting for this damn thing five ever. That's more than four ever. God damn it, man. I'm very excited. So as you guys can see, it's the front of the packaging. We have the iconic uh, bat flick picture right over here. Then we have the, I believe that's where he's standing next to the Batmobile. And then we have the kind of, uh, when they're fighting Doomsday, I think it's the Frank Miller comics, Dark Knight Returns, kind of posed right there by the Batfleck himself. I know there's another one that's coming out for the, the uh, I think it's Suicide Squad. And then there's the Joker Imposter one. Those are pretty cool, but I was very excited for this one. It doesn't come with the Ben Affleck head sculpt, sadly, even though it was shown in the movie, but I... I still want the figure regardless to be honest. So let's go ahead and check out the packaging right now. Let's see, I just told you we have the side sideshow exclusive uh kind of sticker or I don't know what you call that. Then we have it at the top, MMS uh 342 one six scale collective figure. Then you have uh Gotham right there with the uh bat signal flaring up, which is awesome. Bottom, we have more Gotham, Batman v Superman logo, Hot Toys, Movie Masterpiece. Bottom, you won't have anything. It's not textured or anything right there. On the side, you just have where it says MS342, 1-6 scale figure. Same thing on the side right over there. And then in the back, you just have your warning labels in Japanese or whatever. Where they make this from, I think it is Japan, I believe, or Hong Kong. I think it's Hong Kong, yeah, Hong Kong. Got the Batman v Superman on top. And on the top you also have Batman v Superman. So yeah, you just take off this uh, top piece right over here. It's just like the uh, Batman, I mean the Superman figure. Same box, you just lift that up. And then you have uh, all the artists that uh, worked on this figure. Then you have a nice picture of Batman right there, which is pretty cool. And you just uh, take this little piece out right there. And then you have the Batfleck in all of his glory. And you have the interchangeable eyes and mouthpieces. And I was able to get the exclusive version with the sniper rifle, but not the uh, not the cow. Uh, the, I believe the, uh, the one that came with the cow was a double pack with Superman. I believe that was the very first one that sold out on Sideshow. So I was like, I got to get at least the sniper rifle one. Because that was a pretty good scene where he tagged uh, Lex Luthor's vehicle. So let's go ahead and check out his accessories and the figure itself. And of course, before you start messing with your hot toy figure, you want to read the instruction sheet to learn how to interchange the hands, the face skull, not the face, the faces and the uh, interchangeable eyes. As you can see, you can put the... Uh, the little grenade or the little kryptonite bullet in the uh, grenade launcher, the bat branding hand and all that cool stuff. Restrictions of like doing the splits and things like that. Teaches you about the cow, the wires inside of it, how to change the eyes. Like I said, it comes with a little tool for that. As you can see right there. Yeah, it has some more stuff over here in the back as well. About the torso, leaning it, 90 degrees only about all that the suit don't do anything to it only can go 70 degrees doing the split 70 degrees up and uh, bends at 90, 90 degrees when you uh, bend the uh, knees teaches you how to put the uh, the wires in for the grapnel gun and then the two little uh, grapples on the side of it and that's basically it right there so let's get into his accessories so for Batflex accessories he comes with a booty load of accessories as you, as you guys can see he comes with the stand that came just like the uh, Superman did comes with that nice little textured uh, stand that you can uh, lift up let me see if I can get it right there just like that has the Batman right there and I was watching 
off the bottom this is a uh, review and he said there's like a little little stand right here that you can click inside right there to uh, keep the uh, to keep the uh, this piece right over here from falling down so big kudos to him for showing everyone that cool little stand not that much at the bottom just like the Superman one just shows Batman v Superman DC related characters and it has like a little doesn't come with a dynamic stand like the Superman just comes with a standing stand so for interchangeable hands he comes with two relaxed palm hands see right there you can see all the detail inside of them the lines kind of the wrinkles in the fingers which is pretty awesome kind of like the molded brass knuckles inside the knuckle pieces right there the nice little line work that goes through it, the detailing, the wrinkles, all cool. That's the other one right there. And then he comes with, uh, I believe this is the the batarang holding hand. As you can see right there, you just stick the batarangs right there. You can put the four that comes with right there. And these have different wrinkles inside of them, which is freaking awesome still has a line work right there but it's like those little details that Hot Toys does to uh, make every piece different from the other sometimes see this one has different wrinkles too which is awesome nice brass knuckles and then I think that was I think this is the grenade hand or the smoke canister hand I don't know which this one is and then he comes with the two hands to hold the uh the grapnel gun or the uh the grapnel gun or the uh sniper rifle or the grenade launcher or the kryptonite launcher if you want pretty cool and like i said he has a uh, tons of accessories he comes with uh four batterings as you guys can see right here they're all uh sculpted the same they're all the same he just comes with four of them which is pretty cool you can see the little paint detail you can see like little spots of black which is awesome the line work inside of it is sick they're pretty thin a little bit of thick and thin which is pretty cool go ahead and move the rest of the bat rings out the way it comes with his uh bat branding hand which i might customize to make it look like it's heated up as for now it's like it's turned off like he's not gonna do anything with it. They should just paint it in like kind of like red orange, if anything. But it's a nice accessory for the figure. So if you want to get like a, if they make a Lex Luthor figure, you can do what you want to do with that. Comes with a this the Kryptonite canister. You can see the details inside of it right there, which is pretty cool. The line works, the dots, the sil. You can see the silver paint right there on the side of it is pretty cool and then he comes with like a uh, like uh, when he shot Superman and Superman caught it and you just see it like just blow up in his face it does this version then it blows up so you can have like Superman catching this if you want if you want to do like a little uh, posing session with that you can have Superman pose with this right here and then he comes with uh, these two little pieces that you attach to the uh, the grapnel gun just like the Mattel build a piece figure so what you want to do is oh, let's go ahead and check out the grapnel gun first which is pretty sick has like a nice black wash to it with a uh, silver paint application it's kind of like a gun metal which is pretty sick you can see the line work in it then it has like that little hammer piece the trigger right there it's not a real trigger but and then this is where you put the uh, the rod pieces or the grapnel pieces it's a pretty sick to be honest it's awesome all the detail that it goes that goes into these accessories is so sick so what you want to do is you just want to get uh, these pieces and just put them in just like that right there if I can get this one in too and boom this one's kind of loose and loose but oh well and it goes in just like that and then we get his uh, grenade launcher or his kryptonite launcher which has like a black wash to it which makes it look so freaking badass you can see like the little straps right here which is pretty like little beads right there that are articulated which is awesome man this thing is so sick 
and then boom it can extend just like that right there trying to see if it goes up right here too well, we gotta see the instructions again damn it oh well but yeah you can see all the details all the line works the sculpt it's so awesome so sick man and then he comes with these uh, three different type of grapple ejections or grapple launchers I don't know I don't know what to call them but yeah little wires yeah you just get the uh, grapple gun and then you just uh, peg it in just like that right oh it fell down god damn it <laughs> goes in just like that like it's just sprinting out or just shooting out which is pretty cool you have to really stick it in there you can't just I thought it was just gonna be like boom and that's it but now you, you really have to stick it in there just like this one right here just like so that's one of them like it's about to shoot and then he has another one where it's just a straight shot let's see if I can get this bad boy in so boom just like that like it's like it's just shooting out just like that which is pretty cool so that's all the grapnel gun accessories he comes with the exclusive sniper rifle uh, you have to uh, pre-order. You have to pre-order the sideshow exclusive one to get the sniper rifle. And then there's another one with the Batman cowl. But I was unfor unfortunate to get that one. But oh well, because that was the first one that sold out, I believe. And you can take off the clip of it. And you can see the bullet right there, which is pretty cool. And then uh, these are also articulated. It has like little springs inside, which is awesome. Nice scope detail kind of like a it kind of actually looks like a like wood to be honest feels like plastic but looks like wood which is pretty cool see all the details right there for the scope I think you can move the bolt too I think the Clipper King said that in one of the yeah Clipper King the goat man he's one of the best reviews out there for hot toys he's the reason why I wanted this figure him and uh, Don Knight 333 they're so awesome when they do their reviews and they don't Clipper King doesn't give a fuck what anyone says, which is awesome. So yeah, Clipper King and Don Knight's the reason why I wanted this figure, to be honest, because they did great reviews of it. Shout out to those guys. Godfathers of Hot Toys. And then he comes with uh, interchangeable eyes. These are kind of like looking up, kind of like uh, the scene with Lex Luthor when uh, the lights dim out. And he's just looking at Lex Luthor pretty scary look this is like one of them kind of eyes upward just a little bit kind of like a mean stare and then he comes with uh, eyes that are looking off to the side so in case you want to pose him up with the uh, with the sniper rifle if you want and then he comes with his kind of like tell me do you bleed face or Alfred I don't deserve you face and you can tell like that's Ben Affleck right there with all the scrub and then the booty chin, which is so sick. And then he comes with his uh, his his pissed off face when he's fighting those uh, the dozen goons when he tries to save Marka, which is so sick. I think I'm gonna have him pose up with this one. I don't know what I'm gonna have him pose up with, but we'll see that at the end of the video. Man, that's so sick. You can see like the like the way his teeth are like glowing man so sick it's awesome and then he comes with of course the accessory to change the hands not the hands the uh, the faces and the uh, the eyes and I heard that's pretty tricky but I'll show you guys how to do it later in the video but for now we're gonna look at the figure itself so here we have the goddamn bat fleck one of the greatest Batman of all time standing right in front of me man this thing is so awesome Ah uh, man, there's no words that can describe how I feel about this figure. This is my favorite figure in my whole collection right now. I'm just going to flat out and say it. this is number one, numero uno, the big honcho. This is it right here. I love this thing with passion. The way they delayed it like three times, I was so mad. But now he is here, and I love it. So let's go ahead and check out all the detailing, sculpting, new body, and everything that came with this figure 
this thing is sick man so let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt first automatically you can see that is Batfleck Ben Affleck right there Daredevil Goodwill Hunting Jay inside the Bob Strike Back that is him right there man you can see like the little wrinkles right there in his eyes looking like he's all mean and shit the little ears which is so awesome man and this thing is loaded with articulation it's fantastic man like I have the uh, Dark Knight figure the Christian Bale one and that one has limited articulation because of the suit but this one right here beats it automatically man just look at that face sculpt man it's so awesome you can see like the little detailing right over here the wrinkles for his his neck the jaw they even put his little mole right there man can't beat the bat flag man back of the cow has wrinkles right over here too which is so awesome the cape is kind of like a weird material feels like leather but it's not and when you go lower it gets more dirtier which is so awesome so sick then we have the I think uh, I know they delayed it like last month I thought they were gonna fix the uh, bat logo issue but they didn't but we'll get into that when the articulation comes in but as you can see the suit is so awesome it kind of has like that I don't know there's like a whole bunch of like the suit is just awesome you can see like the little lines right there so awesome it has like a cool texture to it kind of feels like the uh, Superman suit but it's a little bit different you can see the bat logo right there so sick kind of has like cuts on it which is so badass and the belt has that weathered look, which is so freaking awesome. Having a nerdgasm right now, bro. So sick. You can see the body, too. His fucking abdomens. I don't know what the hell these are called, but man. Everything on this guy is so awesome. You can see his quads, his fucking legs. Even his knees are freaking <laughs> muscled up. Just so awesome. You can see the fisted hands and then the garments right here. Gives it that leather look with the line of work. Ah, man, the blades on the garments so sick. Gold weathered color, man, this thing is awesome. Then the boots are kind of like the garments. Little steel toad on the top. Then it has blades on the side right over here, which is so awesome. I remember, uh... I think Autobotomist was saying that it kind of feels like a like a bat like a bat wing. It does look like that. I don't know how a bat wing feels or but it probably does feel like a bat wing. I don't know what Optobotomist does in his life. <laughs> this thing is so sick. You got scratches right there for the uh for the belt, which is so sick and awesome. And just look at that body, man. This thing is so awesome. And then the back kind of has like a little uh, zipper. And then he has a butt. Yeah, look at that ass. Look at that ass. All that ass. He did, like, you can tell he does squats. I'll give him. I'll give him that. Got the back of the figure right there. These are you just take these. You take just take the uh, the uh, ankle or the shoe off, and then you just take that off right there. Let's admire this face sculpt. It is 150% accurate to the movie. It is unbelievable what Hot Toys did for this figure, and it's so awesome. Only bad thing is it doesn't come with the interchangeable head. As we saw, like, after he confronted Superman, he takes off his cowl, and then you have the Batfleck or Ben Affleck face. This one doesn't come with that. Probably they may produce a other figure that does that. Probably maybe the Suicide Squad one that might cost a little bit more, but this figure is so awesome. For the money I paid for it, I feel like I got everything that I wanted out of it. This thing is so awesome, man. So let's go ahead and get into Batman's articulation. All right, for Batman's articulation, uh, he can look up, but his uh, cowl is a little bit weird. It, it goes up with him can look down pretty good but it covers that the top of the bat logo which is pretty sad but oh well you can look down that much you can look uh, side to side but his cape moves along with him 
Same thing with the right side too as well. And he does tilt side to side also, which is awesome. And for his arms, he can uh, go up just like that right there. Uh, move forward pretty good and backward as well. As you can see, the muscles move along with it right there. As you guys can see it, which is so awesome. He has a bicep swivel. If you want to make him look more bulkier, just like uh, Don Knight said, a really good tip from him. Uh, double jointed elbows that move pretty good, just like that right there. Uh, hands uh, rotate 360 and hinge up and down. Same thing with this hand right over here. For the ab crunch, it moves forward pretty good. And as, as you can see, his uh, muscles move along with him, which is pretty awesome. So, move about that much right there. And back that much, just like that right there. All right, for bat flex legs, he can uh, kick forward pretty good. About that much right there. About 70 degrees. Uh, do the splits okay, but I don't want to stretch it more than that because I don't want to split the, the pants right there or the suit. Uh, has a uh, thigh swivel right there. As you can see, the, mu the muscles move along with that, which is pretty awesome. He has uh, double jointed knees that move in pretty good. As you can see right there, all that muscle definition. Uh, there's no boot rotation right there, but he does have uh, ankles that move uh, rotate 360 as well as hinge down and up and there is also pivot right there <clears throat> yeah his articulation is amazing better than the past batmans that we've gotten like the michael keaton ones and the christian bale one and this guy probably beats them all to be honest he's just so sick and let me see i don't think i'll mention this but he can uh just move a little bit side to side for the waist you just don't want to mess up the suit or anything like that. But yeah, this thing is loaded with articulation and detailing and sculpting. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons. Go ahead and change out the faces and the eyes. That way I te can teach you guys how to do that right there. So what you want to do first is you just want to pop out the head for it. As so, just like that right there see that just like that right there so that peg that was right over here at the bottom that's not supposed to come out so what you want to do is you just want to squeeze the head a little bit and just pop it up just like that that way you won't take that peg out right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do the angry face so how you do that is you get the tool that it comes with like right here and you just go inside find the hole I believe this is it right here and it pops out just like that right there and then you can plug in the other face as so. And here we have the, uh, let's see, come on, get your booty in there. There we go, I like that. I like where he's fighting the <clears throat> Lex Luthor henchman. Kind of that grr face. And let's go ahead and change out the eyes, which I know is going to be a pain. Right, so to change out the eyes, uh, I think you can see it just a little bit right. Uh, let me just try to get the damn. Now you can't see it. But there's two little hinges for this uh, piece right over here. So what you want to do is you just want to hook them. I think I got it right there. And then the eyes. Come on, pop out. Come on, baby. Let me see if I can get it again. Hopefully I think that's it right there. Uh, come on. Or molasses. The easiest way I found to do this is just stick it right there where the eyes are and just do one side first until it pops out just like so. And you just want to put your finger inside and just take out that, that eye thing right there and then boom you got that eye right there. And I'm going to put this one in right there the same way I took it out so you just want to do it just like uh, this right here on that angle and you just want to put one side in first you just want to align it first and let me see if I can do it right now for you guys uh, here he is with his more uh, kind of looking up eyes it's such a pain to put the eyes in I I think they should bring back the 
the eyeball rolly system because this is so much of a pain. I spent about 10 minutes trying to interchange the eyes for you guys. It is ridiculous, but oh well. But here he is with his eyes more looking up. A little bit more meaner look. I like the straight on eyes to be more honest. But this one's pretty cool as well. So let me go ahead and do some comparisons for you guys. So here I have Batman next to the Mark 45 Iron Man suit. They stand pretty good together. They're about, I think they're about the same height. Uh, is it up to up to scale? I think so, because I know Iron Man's supposed to be taller than Captain America. So let's go ahead into the Captain America hot toy. And here's Captain America next to the Batman. Batman towers over him, so he can beat his ass if he wanted to. That's the comparison right there. Batman's taller, maybe by like two two inches taller than Captain America. Then here's Batfleck against uh, Christian Bale's Batman, and Batfleck's Batman could crush Christian Bale's Batman within a second. He just towers over Christian Bale, to be honest. Pretty cool comparison. I'm gonna, I'll be doing a review of these guys really soon, the Armory, and the set with Alfred and uh, Bruce Wayne. Then here he is next to Superman. Batman is a little bit taller than Superman. I believe that's a scale. I know Henry Cavill's maybe six foot one or six foot two, and Chris, not Christian Bale, Ben Affleck's like six four. So they're up to scale, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the Wonder Woman to have that little trio together. Hopefully, I think that figure comes out in maybe November. I think probably November or December. But hopefully, I'll be able to get that figure for you guys. Here we have Hot Toys Batman and Mafex Batman. Not even a fair comparison, but but both of them are great figures to be honest. But this guy is fucking fat ass. So here I have Batman all posed up for you guys. What I would give the figure is a 10 out of 10. This thing is amazing. Some articulation is restricted and it could have came with a Ben Affleck head sculpt. But Aside that, this figure is fantastic. If you're if you're able to get your hands on these for a good price, because I know on eBay they're selling them for like double, for like 450 or 500. If you can get your hand on this for probably maybe 250, the way I got it, you're gonna be hella lucky and hella pleased with this figure because I love it so much. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like my videos, go ahead and subscribe and follow my Instagram account. AJ Watt reviews I changed the name again but I'm sticking to the AJ Watt because I'm AJ Watt for Christ's sake anyways guys thanks for watching and you guys have a great week